Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to our channel Trade Empire. Today in this video, I will explain about the VWAP indicator. I will also explain about a VWAP trading strategy. Dear viewers, in this channel we explain about different types of indicators, trading strategies and technical analysis of the stocks, which is so much important for the traders to reach their goals. So, if you are new to our channel, then hit the like button and subscribe our channel, so you cannot miss our upcoming videos. Now let us understand our today's topic. VWAP is one type of indicator which is very useful for the traders. The full form of the VWAP is Volume Weighted Average Price. VWAP is the average price of the stock based on the total volume traded. How can we decide the price of a stock that it is high priced or low priced? The VWAP helps us out in this situation. If the price is above the VWAP then it is said to be high priced, in the same way if the price is below the VWAP it is said to be low priced. So, from the expert point of view, at which point we should make our trade entry, we should make it, when the price is nearer to the VWAP or touches to the VWAP. Smart traders wait for the price to come nearer to the VWAP to make a successful entry. VWAP is calculated using the intraday data. So, it is so much useful for the intraday traders. Here is the formula for the calculation of the VWAP. It is the ratio of the cumulative of price multiplied by volume and the cumulative of volume. But there is no need to understand such calculation. VWAP indicator is already given in many stock charting software. With the help of the VWAP indicator, we can identify the trend of the stock, and we can also identify the support and resistance level. When the price is above the VWAP, we will understand that the stock is in the uptrend, similarly when the price is below the VWAP we will understand that the stock is in the downtrend. VWAP also works as the support or the resistance level. During the uptrend, the price moves ahead by taking support at the VWAP, thus here VWAP works as support level. Similarly during the downtrend, the price moves ahead by taking resistance at VWAP, thus here VWAP works as resistance level. In some charting software, VWAP looks like this. There are three lines in the chart. The middle line is VWAP, and upper line and lower line are the standard deviation of the VWAP. During the low volatility, the upper band works as strong resistance level while the lower band works as strong support level. But during the high trending market, the price does not respect both of these resistance and support levels. For example, during the high uptrend, the price moves near or outside the upper band, and during the high downtrend, the price moves near or outside the lower band. Generally, the default setting of band multiplier is 1. But we should to change this value from one period to two period, thus we will able to get big bands. Now, let us understand a VWAP trading strategy. In our strategy, we will use the combination of VWAP and RSI. The full form of the RSI is Relative Strength Index. RSI is the Price Momentum Indicator. Default setting of RSI is 30 and 70 level. When RSI is below 30, it is said that the stock is oversold, now there are chances for reversal. And from now the price may go in upward direction. Similarly, when the RSI is above the 70 level, it is said that the stock is overbought, and there are chances for the reversal. And from now, the price may go into the downward direction. Now, in our strategy we will first find the trend, and then we will execute our trade with the combination of VWAP and RSI. VWAP is suitable for intraday, so here we should choose 1 minute or 5 minute time frame, and from the setting we will change value of band multiplier from 1 period to 2 period. First let us understand the conditions for the buy setup. Condition number 1, we will make our buy setup during the uptrend. Thus, we will buy when the price is above the VWAP. Condition number two. We will buy at the point where the price is nearer to the VWAP, 
and at the same time the RSI should be below the 30 level. Let us understand it with an example. Here we have the chart of a stock which is on the one minute time frame. As you can see, here the price is above the VWAP, and previously the price moved near the upper band, without making resistance at some points. Thus, this is a strong uptrend, so we can get the buy opportunities. Moreover, here the price is nearer, and it is also touching to the VWAP, and at the time, the RSI is below the 30 level. Thus, are all the conditions are satisfied here. So, we will buy over here, our stop loss should be below the VWAP, and our target should be at the recent swing high. You can see, after our entry, the price made a good up move. Now let us understand the conditions for the sell setup. Condition number one. We will make our sell setup during the downtrend. Thus, we will sell when the price is below the VWAP. Condition number two. We will sell at the point where the price is very nearer to the VWAP, and at the same time, the RSI should be above the 70 level. Let us understand it with an example. Here we have the chart of the stock on one minute time frame. Here the price is below the VWAP, and previously the price moved around the lower band, without making support at some points. Thus, this is a strong downtrend, so we can get the sell opportunities. Moreover, here the price is very nearer to the VWAP, and at the same time, the RSI is above 70 level. Thus, are all the conditions are satisfied here. So, we will sell over here, our stop loss should be above the VWAP, and our target should be at the recent swing low. You can see, after our entry, the price made a good down move. That was all. Dear viewers, if you liked this video, then give many likes to our video. And I know the real smart people will definitely subscribe our channel. Take care of yourself.